A former top pick from the Chicago Blackhawks has recently signed an amateur tryout with the Rockford Icehawks. We also got Lucas Reichel, who has found his way back to the NHL and seems to have found his confidence and back to normal. We also have one more update as the Bleacher Report recently gave the Chicago Blackhawks a very good draft pick in this year's mock draft that they had made in this upcoming draft. So we're going to be talking about all of that here in this video. Before we do, though, we notice that 78% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're looking for a spot to get all your Chicago Blackhawks news, you're in the right spot. Make sure to hit the sub button. Join us along on this channel as we cover all of the Blackhawks news and bring it to you as fast as we can. You know, you're not going to want to miss these upcoming months. A lot of stuff looking forward for the Blackhawks, especially the draft. So let's get right into this video here with the first topic, which is the former top pick has signed an amateur tryout with the Rockford Ice Hogs. Now, this pick is here from Ben Pope. It says, Yuri Felkman, one of the Blackhawks' third round picks last summer, has signed an amateur tryout in the AHL to finish out the year with Rockford. He's been playing in Switzerland. Now, you know, this is another situation where the Blackhawks have signed a guy, not really one of the known prospects, not one of the household names, simply because the Blackhawks have a lot of prospects. So normally, you don't really hear um, too much about a third round pick in situations like this, when normally in other teams, you might. But when you can see his stats, he really hasn't played too much in a professional setting at all. You know, a very limited time in the Swiss League, no World Juniors, you know, Nothing like that, so there's a very small sample size to take away from this, but once again, I know we say it a lot here on this channel, you can't have too many prospects, uh, too mm -hmm. many, you know, players that are already in the system that can help out in any given scenario. So, no, what do you think about him uh, here? There's a lot of uh, question marks, I guess you could say, since he doesn't have any professional yeah. uh, experience, but this will be a great opportunity to see the first bit against some AHL players. Yeah. Well, the, the big thing that stands out for me is obviously the fact that he's six foot four, and I think he's like two two oh five somewhere in that in that ballpark. But I mean, you know, the whole stereotypical, I guess, uh, model for an NHL center is sort of big and bulky, and you know, has has a bit of weight on him. And I mean, that's what this guy is. You know, obviously, he did have a little bit of offensive upside. You know, in the Swiss League, you know, take what you want, take it with a guy with a grain of salt. Obviously, the Swiss League is. Not as talented as a lot of the other leagues over in Europe, but I mean, I'm I'm all for getting this guy in, you know, try him out, you know, see what he can bring. Obviously, if he can't bring what you want, it is luckily a an ATO or a PTO or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it, it doesn't really affect the Blackhawks, you know, future, I guess. So I'm all for it. Yeah, no, it's a great test to see what he can really do. Like you said, it's not like a uh, a Swedish Hockey League, a Finnish Hockey League. It's not like the KHL, MHL, VHL, none of those leagues. So, you know, it's one, I would say, from Europe that we don't see the most of, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, like you said, yeah. it's a great opportunity to see what he can really do in an amateur scenario. But again, some um, NHL talents, you know, some players, some rookies that may be down there or some teams that may just have, you know, too many players on the NHL roster, bring them down to the AHL. So he'll at least get a fair share of talent down there to really see what he can pull off. So it's going to be something to keep an eye on, something that, you know, like I said, you can't have too much of, too much experience with. So it's a great sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't yeah. go wrong with it. But we have another one that seemingly is, uh, you know, very good as of late. Lucas Reichel seems to be back. Now, I don't want to jinx anything, but what we've seen from him lately, his confidence seems to have returned. This comes from an article from Ben Pope here, uh, and there's a story connected with this, but uh, I'm not going to I'm not gonna show that here. Just going to kind of give you a little breakdown of it. He says, the Blackhawks have finally uh, seen Lucas Reichel skating at a high level. That's one box checked. The next step is to get Reichel uh, translating that skating and puck possession time into tangible scoring chances and production. Now, that's one thing I really want to uh, touch on here, is that Lucas Reichel really has been fantastic as of late. You know, you're not going to see it on the stat sheet from him. It's not going to be anything, you know, he's not putting up crazy points or anything here. You can see in his last four games, just one point, 15, 14 time on ice around that, but um, he's really shown that confidence that he was lacking earlier in the season. Okay. That was the big thing that Lucas Reichel got sent down for, is that, you know, he didn't have the confidence, he didn't feel like... Um, he should belong in the NHL, but that little stint in the AHL, seven points in nine games, I believe, seemed to really work out, seemed to be able to get his momentum back, his belief back, and, you know, the scoring will come. That's nothing we're worried about too much right now. I think next year, when all these prospects come in, the team changes up a bit to be a bit younger, and Lucas Reichel hopefully will get a, uh, a bigger role on this team. We'll really start to see the scoring and the impact with the uh, offensive yeah, puck possession come then. So, you know, obviously, seems to be good right now. Uh, and m more more stuff will come as of uh, as the you know I guess you could say games will yeah, go by but mainly in the next season. 
Yeah, he's he's like insanely talented. I mean, I know there's probably some people who aren't going to agree with me on that. You know, there's a lot of people who are on the fence about Lucas Reichel. But when, you know, he's talented. But another thing that is a key component in in a player is confidence. And, you know, when you're, you know, you're down, down in the dirt and, you know, you think you're the worst player in the league and, you know, and you're not, you know, getting getting scoring and getting points on the board, it, it just does awful things to you. So the fact that he went down in the AHL and, you know, put up – pretty solid numbers just boosted his confidence and i think we're going to see a completely different player i mean we have seen a completely different player in the, in the short little bit he's been back up so i'm i'm all on back on the lucas reichel train no you're absolutely right you know i was a bit concerned when they brought him up from the ahl near the end of the season you know i had a, a side for both but i thought the better idea would have been to keep him down but um you know bringing him back up i guess they must have seen from a first-hand uh standpoint that he looked much more comfortable with the puck in the AHL. They said, why not bring yeah. him up to the NHL for the rest of the season just to give him a go? And, you know, that short stint seemed to have worked. So I'm excited to see how much this improves over the offseason as well. You know, having that break that you'll, um, you know, I guess like that break from sucking, I guess you could say, if you want to put it in, in the best terms possible. But, uh, you know, it's going to be very exciting to see what he can do next season. Hopefully he'll have a bigger role. Maybe pair him up with Connor Bedard once again to see how that works. But, you know, that's a long ways away. We have something even bigger here first, which is the draft, which is going to be another topic here we're going to talk about really quick right now. The Bleacher Report has Ivan Demidov going to the Chicago Blackhawks with the second overall pick. Now, this is an absolutely, you know, huge one if this does come true if this does come to the Blackhawks uh you know hopes I guess you could say you can see right here Chicago Blackhawks Ivan Demidov number two of 32 now Noah I know you're a much more uh in tune with the prospects at this year's draft than I am at the moment so give us a little breakdown of what Ivan Demidov is and how you think the Blackhawks would fare yeah. with him well, I mean, everybody's talking about, you know, Macklin Celebrini and how good of a player he is. But, I mean, Ivan Demidov is is an awesome consolation prize. You know, obviously he plays in the uh, in junior KHL league, if I'm not mistaken. Some some some, some uh, junior Russia league, Russian league. But it, it really does suck that uh, Russia couldn't play in the World Juniors this year because I think everybody would really, truly see how good this guy is. You know, everybody, like I said, keep going back to Celebrini. Everybody's saying how good Celebrini would be with Bedard and, you know, their connection but i think ivan demidov would be another awesome guy to play with bedard you know hell of a hell of a playmaker obviously can put the puck in the back of the net a little bit but he's prior priority is a is a playmaker so i mean i think he fits perfectly on in the future for the for the blackhawks if, if obviously if they do if they do get the second overall pick and this uh this happens to be the case yeah you know we've seen a lot of movement in this draft these top you know Obviously, top ten picks over the last few few weeks, months, and even days. To be honest with you, yeah. So I think the Blackhawks have a lot of opportunities. They're not going to be. I don't think they're going to be the first overall unless they win the lottery. But the Chicago, uh, the San Jose Sharks, they're even worse. So you know, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be close. Whatever it does end up happening, but um, there's a lot of players there. You know. You got, like you said, Macklin Celebrini. I think the unanimous number one overall. Ivan Demidov, yeah. uh, Cole Iserman, Caden Lindstrom. There's so many guys here that the Blackhawks can actually choose from. They have a lot to think, but you know we're not going to touch too much on that right now because that's what's going to come after the oh, season. Yeah. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to come for the Blackhawks later, and we're going to be touching on all that. So if you do want to make sure you stay up to date with all of the Blackhawks draft news, especially um, over these coming weeks, you're right, you're in the right spot. Hit the sub button. We'll be posting it all here, keeping you up to date with what the Blackhawks draft plan may be. Everything as soon as we find out we'll let you guys know so you're not going to want to miss it but that's all we got here in this video if you did enjoy make sure you give the video a like let us know we're doing our jobs right and making you uh, stay up to date with the blackhawks and uh you know you're gonna have a lot of fun this offseason when this draft comes but like i said that's all we got thanks for watching hope you have a great day see you later